All right, guys, so this is a 2013 Odyssey. Um, I don't know if there's anything out there for this information, but I find this one kind of interesting. So the um, what you have is, uh, the customer's complaint is, both sliding doors will work with the car off, but when the sliding door, or when the car is running, the, both the sliding doors don't work and it just beeps at you. Uh, so that's the, uh, the complaint, along with the a couple of other list of complaints that's on here. But this is the most interesting one for you guys. Uh, so you can pause it, read it. I think the uh, advisor kind of screwed up the uh, information that they gave you. But just by um, checking, uh, so the sliding doors do work when you, uh, you know, door handle, the switch on the side, and the sliding doors open and close, right? Same thing on both sides. I'm just opening both, both that side and that side. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so they open and close. But once I um, start the car and I go to try to uh, open the oh, music, how did I turn on music? Yeah, there you go, music. Uh, so I try to open the power windows. It doesn't do nothing, right? And then if I try to do uh, use the door handle on the outside, on the power sliding door, does nothing and then if you hear the beeper saying there's something wrong you can hear the beeper in the back uh, there's two modules on each side for each sliding door and it beeps at you and it's not opening the doors so what is the problem um, let me show you uh, so behind the sunglasses that the customer put you see the traction control light and the ABS light uh, they're both on uh, so when they are on um, it blocks the information uh, through BCAN uh, to the gauge control module uh, for the uh, request to the sliding doors. So your real issue is uh, something to do with your traction control and your ABS. Uh, not, nothing to do with the sliding doors. So that is the issue. So we got to fix the ABS issue uh, to fix the power sliding door issue. So that is the problem. Um, yeah, so if I shut off the car. And then I go to open the door. It'll stop beeping and it'll open and it'll close fine. It's just when you have the key on, right? Uh, because you have, when you turn the key on, your modules are all turned on, your ABS. Uh, it sets a, I guess there's a code in the uh, system in the ABS that tells you, hey, there's something wrong with your ABS and it prevents the uh, power sliding doors to open. Uh, it, just because that the message from the power sliding doors is uh, the message uh, through BCAN is being blocked uh, by whatever, you know, if it's not receiving a signal through whatever the ABS needs, uh, and that's the issue. So, you know, even if you have key on, you try to open the sliding doors, they don't do nothing. And that's when the key on, but once you have the key off, um, your, your power sliding doors are able to work, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to fix the uh, issue with the ABS first before we can fix the power sliding door. So we're going to scan it and see what, the, what, what kind of codes we have in the ABS system. So I'm just uh, going into the ABS module to see what's going on. And All right, so this is the, uh, the code we got. Uh, we're kind of looking at this modulator control unit internal circuit malfunction. Um, uh, that's the ABS module. Uh, so we're going to see what's wrong with that. We're going to check powers and grounds to it. Um, uh, to explain how, why it's doing this, uh, it does need uh, real speed information for the sliding doors to work. Uh, because if you, uh, it's, it's more like of a safety thing because it's just to prevent the sliding doors from opening if your, um, your wheel speed uh, is, I guess if your car, if your van is moving at a certain speed, it won't allow you to open that door, and uh, that's why that information from the ABS module is important, uh, and that's why your sliding doors aren't working. So we're gonna see why that ABS control unit is uh, having issues. So in the uh, work order, it also says that it had to be jump start. So that's one thing I gotta keep in mind. Uh, but the ABS module lives down here. I don't know if I can zoom in. It's 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 like. Let me see if I can get a shot. I just took a quick peek down there. I don't know if that connector is completely connect connected in. This is one of those latching ones. Uh, let's see. Let me see what I can show you. It's down there. Ah, uh, camera. 
do it, do your thing down there. I don't know if you can see it. I got it right in the, just right in there. If I could just focus on that connector down there. All right, so yeah, no, I was wrong. Uh, from this angle, it looked like it wasn't latched, latched down all the way because this one was sticking it, sticking out that way. So it is latched in. So now we're just gonna, we're just gonna check the fuses for this ABS module and the uh, the ground. So I'm just looking at the fuses here. They all seem pretty good. It's it's the the 30 and a 40 in the box here. Uh, VSA and then VSA MTR, VSA FSR. Uh, fuse look good so that should be okay uh, just curious I'm gonna clear the codes and then see if it comes back um, maybe for for whatever reason the battery died uh, I lost power because I did have a low battery voltage uh, code so I'll clear the codes and then see if it comes back and then see if the door or sliding doors work so I did a full scan there's nothing else other than the ABS something in the climate control unit communication temperature sensor error uh, but we're just focusing on this code right here. So yeah, we'll clear it, make sure I print out the codes. And then, yeah, now it's got a freeze frame data for uh, low battery voltage. Uh, so I'm gonna probably test that battery too, uh, just to make sure. But we'll, yeah, the battery's dead. So this could all just be a bad battery. So, yeah, look, I didn't have it on for very long and then the, it doesn't even crank over now. So, um, yeah, so this can just happen because you have a dead battery. So, yeah, so ABS lights are out, right? Um, clear the codes. Uh, yeah, so it, not necessarily it might be a, you know, a dying battery that's causing this uh, if you have like a code in the ABS for wheel speed sensor for whatever reason in the ABS um, yeah it's just because it set a code in the ABS it won't let your uh, power sliding doors to work so just a uh, good information in case you guys have an Odyssey a 23rd uh, I think it's from 20 2005 to 2015 Odyssey um, uh, that does this so if you're wondering why your sliding doors aren't working check your dash see if you have an ABS light on uh, that's preventing your uh, sliding door from opening. Also, uh, what, what, what will also prevent your driver's side sliding door from opening is that gas door. There's a little switch in there. So when that switch goes bad, you, <laughs> you're not able to open that sliding door either. It's just all safety stuff. So, All right. So, yeah, like you said, uh, needs a battery. Yeah? You never had a... Uh, I think it's certain 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 codes in the ABS will set the uh, will prevent the doors from opening. Um, so, uh, oh, well, I think was I think. Uh, yeah. So since the battery, it does have a Honda battery uh, in there. I don't know how old it is, but uh, I think what I want to check is the charging system. Make sure these uh, this alternator is charging under load. Um, yeah, because these Odysseys always <laughs> you always, you go through alternators maybe like you know quite a few over its life 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 of you know 10 years i guess you'll go at least two maybe uh but uh i uh, did usually they leak oil but this one doesn't have oil leaking on it usually when they leak oil it makes like a whining noise if you didn't watch my video on uh if you if you hear this noise uh don't they, don't ignore it there, there's a video on that so yeah anyways uh yeah i'm gonna test the charging system yeah even though that odyssey had a uh Honda OEM replacement battery. It's uh, it is a 2018, so it is five years old. So it, it's probably due for a new one. It did t it did test bad though. Yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, check the charging system. You know, put on the high beam, put on the uh, seat heaters and uh, rear window defroster, and I'm charging pretty close to 14 volts. Uh, so charging system is good. Uh, now that the lights aren't working, you can, I can, you know, while the, while the engine's running, you can open the doors now. Yeah, see? So, you know, that works. Um, yeah, but, you know, maybe a month down the road, you're going to put an alternator, because I took a look under there, it's the, it's the original alternator, 145,000 kilometers, so usually that's, that's, that's about around the time that they, uh, you know, need to be replaced, I guess, or 
I see them come into <laughs> needing an alternator around those kilometers, somewhere between 165 and 100,000 um, is when they need to be replaced or when they come in and, or they fail. That's, that's what I meant. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I uh, think that's it. I hope you liked the video. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.